Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Uniden Bearcat UBC 355 CLT Entry Level Scanner. Comes with obviously the scanner, the AC adapter. Also comes with a wired uh, antenna, a telescopic antenna. A mount bracket for the screws because this is the uh, mobile uh, a mobile and a desktop scanner that's why it comes with all these um, you can wire it straight into your battery into your cigarette uh, socket it's got an adapter there and in instructions so for the money, the UBC 355, you get quite a, a lot for your money, to be honest. It is a, a, a entry level scanner. I've got um, an external antenna what, up on the roof from Broadworld's antenna. I really recommend them guys. So if you pop across to them, I think they've got a Facebook page. Um, they're really helpful. You can get a lot of antennas from there, and you can custom what your uh, to your needs. I got a, a vertical antenna off them, and yeah, as you can see on the video, you'll see I put that on myself. But when I be going mobile, I'll be putting the bracket in my van, um, and using the wired antenna, and 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 see how that goes. If not, I'll be buying a probably mag mount a sky scan or something like that. See what happens. But for the moment, um, concentrating on my own base one. So as you can see, guys, it's scanning away. The only uh, bad thing I can see so far about this scan is you can't physically punch the keys in. You know, to a frequency. You've got to scan it, and these buttons here, you'll press different ones. So you can press air band, marine band, or scan both, and emergency services, FRN, PMR, uh, CB, and ham radio. And it's also got a close function here. And as you can see, if anybody comes within, I think it's about 100 yards or so, it automatically uh, switches to that frequency if someone's close by. Or you can um, turn that off completely. Or you can have it as there where it's not highlighted, but it, the device will tell you that there's something uh, very close by. And you can uh, opt to, to turn over to that frequency. Or I just leave it on where it automatically goes to that frequency, whatever's uh, close by. So as we're uh, looking now, we just had a bit of action there on that frequency. So if you wanted to program in that guys, you'll press program. And you'll see it come up as channel. And then you press private. And it'll go to number six. And then program that in again. And then that's programmed in um, to your location. And then you'll just keep scanning from there. And basically, all your programmed channels go into private. So you can uh, just scan that if you want to choose that on its own. And by pressing these where it's blanking them out, it'll turn all the other scan functions off. And it'll just scan your private. And vice versa, if you want to turn that off, you want to just do the air band and turn private on, and then you'll just show air band. So, for about what did I pay? About £85 um, for this, and it's brand new as well. So, yeah, you get quite a lot of money for the Unidem Bearcat 
from Brodsward and Tenor. I think I paid around about forty pounds or so um, with the custom coax length what I needed. So yeah, if you go down to Brodsward's antennas, uh, great antennas, I can highly recommend them. To when you turn it off, which is on the volume button, you'll turn it down for the click. Turn it off. You can actually program the clock in. And there again, you just press program, and then you'll press up and down to set your your clock, whatever time it is. So we'll just turn it on now. So when it stops on the frequency, and say like now there's nothing on it, you just press up. And, and it just keeps scanning through. You can turn the squelch up here if you so wish. And say like it stops on a frequency, you can press hold. And obviously what that does is it holds on that Zero, two, say five, like now. You hold on that frequency, eight, so seven, if two, someone eight. unkeys It'll, it'll start scanning, but if you press hold, even if the unkey, it'll still um, be on that frequency. And then you can press program, then private to program this uh, frequency. And this is uh, Leeds Bradford Atis. So it looks like the Leeds Bradford Airport's open. Over there, it was closed. And I think it'll close, although there won't be many flights today, I think it'll be closed um, shortly due to the COVID-19. Um, underneath the scanner, just tells you a few megahertz bands what are uh, what they're on which is handy but overall i re highly recommended scanner especially for entry level um I'd, I'd definitely get one like i said the only thing i don't like about it is you can't punch a frequency in yourself but it's not a big deal you can also press the search button there and go up and down the frequencies until you um, receive something but there's no uh, not much happening at the moment on the scanning side of stuff obviously with everybody being on lockdown um, I, got, I got it at the wrong time really but it's in the shack and uh, yeah we'll see how it goes cheers guys for watching and uh, hopefully I can get out, do some camping, and well, we all can get out from this lockdown. But main thing is keep indoors as much as you can. Keep your family safe and everybody else. And it'll be usual. It'll be back to normal soon, as usual selves, and we can get on with whatever we get on with. So thank you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.